What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another banger of a video today. We got ourselves an Assault Vest Swampert alongside with Weakness Policy Glaciary Team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support and shout out to my boy Trenton for dropping this team. It looks amazing. We got so much to work with and I cannot wait to get after it. But guys, I think we did it. I was messing around with the lighting situation and I think your boy got it done right. I think we got a good lighting situation going on now. I fixed my lights up a little bit. I changed the settings and all that. So hopefully it's looking good. And if it is, let me know in the comment section down below. I seriously, it would go a long way. Kind of lets me know that everything is going good on my end. But rocking out on this team, we got ourselves a Sil Valley with a normal gem. And we got that normal gem for the explosion. We can actually self-destruct basically and deal massive damage to both of our opposing Pokemon. And we can actually line them up with Dusclops so our own our own allied Pokemon doesn't get hit as well. So that's huge. That is awesome. This thing also has multi attack for stab, thunder wave to paralyze Pokemon, parting shot to lower attack, and actually swap out and keep rolling. Right next one, we got Glaciary. Glaciary is going to work great in a trick room considering we have Dust Cops right behind my face cam. He's going to be able to set up a trick room and get buzzing from there. But Glaciary's got that weakness policy, Icicle Crash, High Horsepower, Smart Strike, and Protect. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. This thing's an absolute beast. Behind my face cam, like I said, we got the Klopsky Poo. We got the Evo Light, Pressure Ability, Nightshade, Brick Break, Trick Room, and Pain Split. Nothing new over there. Next one, we got Terrakion with Justified Ability and that Life. This thing's an absolute beast. Once it gets set up, we got Close Combat for Stab. Rock Slide for Stab, Mega Horn for our coverage move, and Protect. Right below, Whimsicott, our Tailwind Pokemon, and our Beat Up Pokemon. So we can actually beat up Terrakion, boost his attack, roll from there. We also got Moon Blast for our hitting move, and Fake Tears to drop special defense. Final spot is my favorite Pokemon for this team, is going to be the Swampert right here. We got the Assault Vest, so it can eat up special attacking shots. Torrent as its ability, Liquidation, High Horsepower, both for Stab, Ice Punch, and Rock Slide for two other coverage moves. I cannot wait to use this Pokemon. I absolutely love Swampert and all the Hoenn starters. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, and this guy's got a rain team, and his name is BBQ, which is making me a little hungry. I kind of want to go eat some ribs right now, some pulled pork. Oh, my Lord. That sounds delicious. Just a nice outdoor barbecue with all the barbecue food. Mwah. Yo, that'd be so delicious. That's going to be our little victory thing. If we win, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go cook up some steaks, all that good stuff, some ribs, mashed potatoes, and we're going to have ourselves a barbecue for the jeans online gaming. I'm going to team, baby. You guys already know the deal, but first battle, this guy's got the rain team. Pelipper, Ludicolo Cole with the Swift swim um a lowland malwak for uh potentially to roll in trick room because he has a hatterene he also has urshfu as lovely little pokemon and zathras and zathras i could go trick room here. i mean i might just bring glaciary for that trick room purpose kind of works out but i could just go straight into whimsicott i do not have a taunt on whimsicott so i might go whimsicott terrakion bring glaciary and swim hurt i kind of like that i kind of like that call or or do we have a uh, Pokemon that can hook up Glacier to Terrakion and Sylveon? Nah, uh, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Kinda, I kind of like this. I kind of like this. Go in here with the Whimsicott Terrakion. If he doesn't set up Trick Room, then we uh, roll into beat up Tailwind and all that. But then if he does, we don't go into our Tailwind. We have a Glacier in the back end. We also have Swampert in the back end, who's rather like mid-speed. He's like not too slow, not too fast, so we can actually uh, do decently well in the Trick Room. Because the only Pokemon that's going to be really thriving in the Trick Room is going to be that Lola Malwak. And I feel like we should be fine. I feel like we should kind of get buzzing on it and get rolling after it. But BBQ, man. Oh, my Lord. Now it's making me want some barbecue sauce, too. Like, just with, the, like, chicken nuggets or something. But they got to be Dino Nuggets. You guys already know the deal. Dino Nuggets hit, the, hit 10 times better than regular chicken nuggets. That's a fact. Imagine if, like, McDonald's or Wendy's just went, went with the Dino shape. Their sales would go through the roof. But he is going to go with Hatterene and Zap this year. And in this case, I might just drop a Rock Slide. And hmm, I just Moonblast over onto the Zapdos slot. I think that's the play. I really do think that's the play. He might not Dynamax here. He is not going to Dynamax. He's going to withdraw. He's going to try to set up a Tricker, maybe. We're doubling up into the slide. He's going to drop Urshfu. Oh, you'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. So Urshfu's going to go down here. That's lovely. See you later, Urshfu. That's a big play for us. Hopefully, we can get a flinch onto the Hatterene slot. That'd be huge. But Urshfu gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He can set up a trick room. We got Glacier in the back. Moonblast popping. He wasn't expecting it. He was thinking we're going to go for Tailwind. Yo, get that boy out my face. Get him out of here. Get him going. Nice little start. Yo, we've been playing really good Pokemon lately. But he is going to get off that trick room, which is totally fine. 
But he still has a Zapdos, so we gotta remember that. My Glacier should be able to just absolutely work on that thing. Don't like this time. We have Swamps in the back. We have Swamps in the back. Okay. Alright, he's gonna roll into Mawak. Okay, that's fair. Um. Hmm, give me one second. Give me one second. I think we're all physical attacking, right? Yeah, we're all physical attacking. So fake tears isn't really gonna do much for us. Right here. But we're not gonna go into any fake tears. Uh just start moon blasting over onto you. I really don't want to tailwind. Really don't want to beat up either. I just wanna save my thing from a glacier, you know? We're going to a mega horn. Go for a rock slide. Rock slide is super effective, but no, there's no way that this thing's uh no way this thing's weakness policy considering he's probably holding that thick club. He's gonna Dynamax here, that's a fact. But then I should just be able to roll in the Glacier. And pretty much end this thing. But I don't think Hatterwing doesn't learn Ally Switch. He does learn Magic Bounce, we know that. But yeah, he thought I was gonna set up the He's just like, I'm gonna swap her through here. So we can eat up this Rock Slide. And I'm just like, nah, yo, Moonblast. Get out of my face. <laughs> Drop that thing. So here, this thing's posing a big threat here. Tell me the Malwack. I think he is Fire Typing. That's a little scary on my glacier slot. Thing's gonna drop a mystical fire. Uh, we should be able to eat. Yeah, I was gonna say we should be able to eat all day. Malak is gonna go before and probably take on my Terrakion. Special attack is gonna drop. We're gonna do a little bit of damage over onto this thing. He's gonna quake, so the boost isn't really gonna do anything, which is nice for us. The boost is lovely. I kind of, I'm kind of fine with that. I'm actually fine with that. Special defense boost. We're all physical attack. Here. And he doesn't set up a flare or uh, like a heat or a drought. So my boy can actually eat up a little bit more. Moonblast can come out here. So y'all yeah, eat. Get after it. I think a little bit of damage. A glacier should be slower, right? Come here, Glacier. Let me see your speed. Actually, I don't know. Is Malwax slower than that? That's gonna be a close one. one is gonna be a close one. We do have a soul vest. Um, I could guard. I could totally guard. And just waste out a turn. Or I can just do this. Another moonblast. How many turns is actually left in uh Griffin? So he has three. There's really no no need to go into a tailwind. That'd be dumb. And I'm just gonna high horsepower or just max quake into this slot. Considering I can get the he's special oh he's physical, isn't he? He's physical attacking. He is physical attacking. He is physical attacking. Right? He's gotta be physical. Like max quake and all that? I'm just gonna moon blast over here. And I am going to uh I'm actually going to double up in this slot. I'm gonna double up in this slot. I'll take out the Hatterene here. To get the defensive boost. That'll be my play. And then Moon Blast will just slide over. Alright, so we'll dynamax here. I don't see him taking me out in one shot with a max player. I don't see that happening. And then if not, we can always guard next turn. There's always a possibility. We still have a uh, Swampert in the back. Who goes first? I don't need to go for a mystical fire. Don't take me out. That's fine. Okay, what's called go before you? I would love to get this defensive boost. Yeah, this thing's Malwax physical attacking. I remember right now. Learns like play and everything. And there we go. We're going to get this steel spike off. We're going to get the defensive boost. That's huge. And we are slower than that, which is which is enormous, which is enormous. The defensive boost coming out here, he's probably gonna drop a flare. Proker weakness policy, we should be able to eat it up. We should be able to eat it up with that plus one defensive boost there. Headering's down, and he just has Zapdos, and our chilling A is... So this guy better watch out here. I'm gonna go for his flare now. Hey, yo, give me that. Tasty snack. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Big plays by Jeans. Big plays by Jeans. We got Swamper coming out here, so he cannot, he cannot use an electric move. With this Zapdos, because we're park ground. Then we got that assault vest too. Dude, we are boosted. We are boosted. Get out, swamps. Um, what's the call here? What is the call here? He's gonna chop out his Zapdos. I think he guards with the uh, with the Malwak, right? Does he guard with the Malwak? Do we play that game? I feel like we have to pose a threat onto the Malwak slot, right? We have to. The liquidation, but. I think best bet is going to be going into an Ice Punch here. It's either Ice Punch or a Rock Slide, whichever one I want to go for. This one has a better chance of hitting. I can just double up with a Rock Slide. I think Rock Slide is going to be a play. Or Soul Fest it. And then I think I just posed that big old threat of dropping a Quake over on this slot. Because he might guard, and in that case, we still should be fine here. He doesn't guard, so good thing we did actually drop the Quake on this slot. We should be able to KO, right? We should be able to KO. We're plus three. 
Yeah, get it out of my face. Get it out of here. I should have ice punch. I should have ice punch, but we're kind of looking for this flinch. We kind of got this one locked up. We got one more turn in Dynamax. And yeah, we have been playing so, so well. I don't know what it is. We have been playing so good. I think the past four videos, we went 3-0 and in one of them. This was like four videos ago. We went 3-0, and 2-1. And, and I think, did we go 3-0 and yesterday? Yeah, first first in new room, one guy quit, and we got two wins, 3-0 again, and now we're buzzing here. We're about to get a pick up a first battle victory. Yo, you love to see it. Hey, wait, gonna come out here? Yeah, that's tasty. It's real tasty. Blaze share is buzzing. Swamper eats that up all day because he has to have a soul vest, and it's not very effective. And then I should just be able to drop a nice little ice punch. That's not even stab damage. He's still doing a lot of damage. He's still doing a lot of damage, Swamper. I absolutely love this Pokemon. I think a soul vest actually rocks out on it. Probably the best item for it. It's really the only one I've really been seeing, but it works so well, so why would you change it up? But first battle victory, let's get it. We can hop to our second now. Try to keep this win streak rolling. The more I've been playing Pokemon, the more and more off meta teams we are versing, which I'm actually happy with. The game is a lot more fun that way. We're going up against a little bit of a little decently off meta team right here with Entei. Alakazam, haven't seen him since like the Isle of Armor has been released. Salamence, Regirock, Urshifu, and Rillaboom. Two little meta Pokemon, but still, it's still, I'm happy with this second battle. We're looking to continue our win streak. We had a strong first battle. Um, I don't know who he's going to lead. He has Intimidate Pokemon. He does have that, which is, which is fine, I guess. I kind of want to lead Sil Valley. I don't want to get wrong with Sil Valley. I could go beat up here, though. Beat up's not not a bad option. Like, beat up really isn't a bad option. Like, again, he has that, uh, that, uh, Sil Valley, but still. Oh, not Sil Valley. The Salamence with Intimidate. I, but I kind of want to go Sil Valley. I kind of want to go in here. Actually, I could just do this. Go here. Let's go with our Trick Room and bring Swampert. Right? That's a strong play. I like this play. I can always explode turn one. I can thunder wave. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Look at this lot. He does have a fake out uh, user. Which if he goes for a fake out, that's totally fine onto my uh, Silver Valley slot. He can't fake out my desk clops. So I can roll Trick Room here. Which I'm, I'm going to go for. Get out Glacier, potentially Dynamax. So everybody knows Glacier is top too. So, such a strong Pokemon. But yo, if you guys haven't checked out my last video, go check it out. It's a Charizard video. It absolutely rocks out. It does absolutely rock out. But we should be able to eat up a Wicked Blow, right? We should be able to eat up a Wicked Blow, no problem. I'm going to explode if I can. I am going to explode if I can, right? Let's play. Let's play. Let me see Sil Valley speed. Let's see Sil Valley speed. I haven't really checked this out yet. So Sil Valley, let me see your speed. Level 1. 144. Okay. Decently fast. The multi attack. I can do a lot. I can do a lot. I kind of want to do that. I don't want to do that. He is normal. Okay, so never mind. We're just going to go. We're going to explode. I'm going to explode. <laughs> That's the play. And I am going to trick him. I'm exploded here. He's going to fake me out. Hey, yo, chill on me, man. Chill on me. He's going to close combat me. Don't you dare close combat me. All right, Wicked Blow is coming through. Good thing Dusk Ops eats. I love you, Dusk Ops. You're my best friend. Then I can pain split next turn. Yes, sir, Dusk Ops. Yes, sir, Dusk Ops. Yes, sir. He's gonna glide, though. He's gonna gr grassy glide. He's gonna. No, no, that Silk Valley should be slower. But I should be able to get off this explosion. I should be able to just say, hey, do this. I wish I had, like, protect or something. But I am still gonna try to go for a pain split onto somebody. He's gonna glide, though. You see that coming all day. Hopefully, he doesn't. Hopefully he doesn't go for a grassy guy. And if he doesn't, that's stupid. But we do have the trick room off, so once the, I kinda kinda want those cops to go down here. Actually, no, I don't. I do not because I still value gonna go down here to an explosion. But then I just bring out my boy. I just bring out my boy Glacier. We can get rolling here. I don't know what's raw. Ooh. Ooh, we coming out with explosions on. <laughs> Let him explode that. Alright, you smart little cookie. Smart little cookie. And this thing's oh ho <laughs> ho Yo, this dude just made a play. This dude just made a smart play. I think this dude just made a smart, smart play. Pain's what's gonna come through here. Look at our HP go back up top. We just killed ourselves. He just smarted us out, man. That was real smart. Normal gen is gonna pop. Where's our normal gen at? There it is. And it's gonna hit this uh, Reggie Rock. Can we do a little bit of damage to this thing? Alright. I'm with it. That's fine by me. Let's get out, Glaish. Get out, Glaish. We'll Dynamax Glaish here. And, uh, do we drop a Hailstorm? Because that thing's got to be Sash, right? 
He can't detect, so I might just double up into that. I might double up into Urshu slot. Is Reggie Rock? Am I really worried about that thing? Not really. Not low on health. He's not going to Dynamax. So I'm just going to Dynamax you. And I'm just going to drop a Hailstorm over onto this slot. And then in that case, I just double up with the Nightshade, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Because that's got us back to full health. Man, dude, my explosion trick, he read me like a book. He read me like a book. <laughs> he was like, I'll detect it, so I've been to Reggie Rock. You can, you can deal with that. I'm like, bro, what you mean? So we did a decent amount of damage. We got our trick room set up. And uh, and Dust Cops is almost back up to full health, which is really, really solid. So I really do wonder what he's going to do here. I don't think he swaps to Urshfu. He cannot protect it. It's pretty nice. We got the trick room rolling. We got Glacier Dynamax in here. Hopefully, we take out Urshfu. We proc weakness policy. I mean, that'd be a huge turn. But what's going on? We should be able to get off Chilling Net because we're night shading into the Urshfu slot, dealing damage, and then this, uh, this what's called? This Hailstorm should be able to pick up the KO. We should be chilling. See what he does. See what the, what, what, what is your play time, sir? Oh. 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 I see how it is. Okay. Hi, right, little boy. Oh, we, oh, oh, hey. I was just saying, I don't think he's Dynamax and Dynamax and Reggie Rock. Dude, Dynamax is Reggie Rock. I think he's like, this is my, this is my option. My way out. I he's gonna come out here. Urshfu's gonna go down here. So I have to eat up this turn. I have to eat this turn. We're gonna get off a hailstorm, which is lovely. Buffets are gonna go around. I should be able to pick up the KO. The probs does not. E yo, I really did think that was gonna pick up the KO. A little whack. All right. Yeah, what it is? And he's gonna, he's gonna. I, my glacier's dead. My glacier's dead, man. Unless we eat, unless we eat up this and a close combat. Now he's probably gonna go into a wicked blow. Hopefully. I mean, I'm with this. This is fine with me because I get out swamper. There goes my policy. Probably gonna double protect next turn. Close combat's gonna come out here. He does close combat. We do eat, which is lovely. Buffets are gonna come out here. Um, he has no first turn priority unless he's rocking sucker punch. Hmm. Unless he is rocking sucker punch, and in this case, I guard. I think I guard and night shade down. But then he grass guards. And that's a problem. And then he has oh man. I think I have to pose this over here. Uh what do I get? Do I get the defensive boost? Yeah, let's get the defensive boost. We'll be able to take out you. The nightshade should just be able to come around. Much as I want to guard, like there's no point of guarding. Like, what what is a guard gonna do? Waste a turn? For us to just die to a grassy glide? So I'm just gonna hope this thing doesn't have sucker punch. He's gonna withdraw. He's gonna withdraw. That's totally fine. So he doesn't have sucker punch. He's gonna go into Ente. And this thing's gonna guard there. Okay. Um, I'm fine by that turn. I don't really see what you were trying to do with that turn though. I don't see what you were going into that time. Do you have a first turn priority move with that? He's gotta be rocking extreme speed, right? But does Glacier eat an extreme speed? Here comes still a thing, so. I wish we had Alice. I wish we did have Alice. Which... Um, this one's gonna be close. This one's gonna be real close. I think a Swampers not eating up a grassy item. Uh. And let's get this defense boost. And I guess we'll nightshade over here. Think about an extreme speed. Is this why I swapped into it? Okay. Let's see. What are you going to do, kind sir? He does have extreme. Can we eat? Oh! <gasps> we do eat. So we do survive a turn. And we are able to take out Reggie Rock. We are going to go down here to the buffets. The buffets come out first. That's that's fact, right? I did, I should have maybe switched up the, the weather. But I want this super effective shot. And get the defense one. Okay. This cops is still like thriving. He's still doing just fine. Okay. So all we have left is Swamper, which is which is rather scary. Because we know he has to roll boom in the back. We know he has to roll boom in the back. Glacier is gonna drop here, which stinks. 
Dark Glacier, dude. Only if the, what's called, they come out first. If the Grassy Terrain came out first, that'd be huge. Because then we can waste another one of his extreme speeds over this slot. Uh, but I don't know if he thinks we're rocking out switching. Maybe we would have used it by now. So he probably knows that. I'm not going into that. Um, how to get out Swampert. Do we have one more? Oh no, I was gonna say, do we have one more turn left in chicken? Go into a what's it called? Go into a what's it called, please. Urshifu. Go into Urshifu. If I can set up a trick room. I think we die if he goes into Urshifu, right? I think he dumps on me. We do have our soul pass. Um, okay, so Swampers can come out here as our final mod. Oh, dude, that what's it called is going to be a pain. The liquidation. Liquidation picks up the KO. Hmm. I'm really worried about the Entei. Good rock side. Am I really worried about that Entei? I think I'm more worried about you. I'm gonna try to get off this trick room. He is defensive boosted. Sacred Fire is gonna come out here and it misses. That is huge. We should be able to eat this. Right? We're defense plus one. How come that one killed? I'm a little confused why that one killed. The other one survived us on low. I'm confused to why that one killed. If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section down below to why that one killed. Because we were plus one on the defensive board there. Is that a special attacking move? I don't think so. The other one didn't kill. I guess there's a high roll. Is that, my, is that the only way? I'm going to be able to bring out Robin. That one's going to be GG. This is going to be GG. Dang it, man. Dang it, dude. I need that trick room. I really did need a trick room. I think that was our like last resort there. I think that was really our last resort. Bumper is gonna get absolutely hammered here. I gotta go for a rock side. I gotta go for a rock side. Maybe get a crit onto Entei, take him out, and flinch. I think that's gonna come out here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then he's just gonna grass glide. Leave me alone, man! Sacred fire's coming out here. He's just toying with me. I mean, maybe you miss. Maybe you miss your grass glide. Maybe, just maybe. Sandstorm is gone. It is gone. Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> No, dude, we're playing so good. But yeah, I was a little confused. I was thinking that Dust Cop should be able to eat up that shot as we were plus one on the defensive board. And then he didn't. And then I was planning on getting off that trick room and buzzing from there. I'd rather just go for an ice punch. i take you out. But again, he's just going to grant Sky, right? Miss. Eat. eat it up. Nah, nah, he's not eating it up. He's not eating it up. Yo, GG right there. We start off one on one. We can hop into our third and final battle and at least look for a winning record for today's video. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Looking for that winning record for the Jeans Online Gaming community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. This guy is a pretty cool team right here. Glaciary over here. And he also has uh, Gyarados. Gyarados is one of my favorite Pokemon. I absolutely love this Pokemon so much. Like, he's just so cool. He's so strong, too. And I love his typing of flying and water. I feel like there's not a lot of flying and water typing. Besides Cramorant. Cramorant is an absolute beast. But he also has Jolteon. Jolteon's going to pose uh, not too big of a threat to me. I really, really like. He has a glacier. Uh, does, he, does he have a trick room? He does not. He does not have a trick room mom. Um, I really want to roll Wimscott, kind of match him. Uh, do I go to Sil Valley? I'm gonna go to Sil Valley and start pestering. I'm gonna go to Sil Valley. I'm gonna go Swampert as well. Thrakion, final mine? Yes, please. Give me Thrax. Give me Thrax, man. Give me Thrakion. Big old light for mom. We're gonna try to get rolling here. Try to pick up a big fat W. He has Faramosa, which could I could see the lead out of that. Could totally see the lead out of that. But still so Valley, we're gonna start trying to pester before we go for an explosion. Maybe try to get him to protect first and then roll out from there. But I got a little question of the day for you. What is your top three favorite starters in all of Pokemon? It could be just the starters, like the first evolution, or it can be the final evolution. For me, I got Skeptile or Sceptile, however you guys want to pronounce it. You guys say I pronounce it wrong. I say you guys pronounce it wrong. But, uh, and Polmeon's up there for me for top three. And then one more. I don't know. There's a lot of other options that I really, really like. Like Charizard, everyone loves Charizard. I do like Blastoise as well. And Swampert. I really do love Swampert. Swampert is so cool. Um, who else is there? Yeah, definitely Empoleon and Skeptile are my top two. Torterra's up there, too. I absolutely love him. Um, Greninja's cool. Um, who else is there? Mm. Samurott. That's a cool one. I always love Venusaur, too. And Typhlosion. is really cool with Feraligator. But I couldn't decide on a third. I couldn't decide on a third. Empoleon and Skeptile are definitely top two for me. But he drops the Sandstorm. Oh, we're definitely going to roll out with a Tailwind here. Lovely little Tailwind. We're not going to try to proc with his policy. I think I just pest around here and, uh... Start T-waving. 
Well, I could party shot. I could totally party shot lower that thing's attack. Can we T wave on this thing? I don't think we can T wave on a T tar. I don't think we can. So I'm gonna do this on a Fire Mosa. Fire Mosa is gonna protect anyway. That's huge. A free little tail one here. That one comes out. I could explode next turn if I really want to. I think I just party shot on Tyranitar. We roll from there. I don't know where to come down here. Oh, I think I party shot. We do that. There we go. Beautiful. Pharamosis gets a little paralyzed. He's going to taunt me. Did we already set up? Did we already set up a Tailwind? I think we already did. Yeah, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Now I'm just going to Moonblast into Pharamosis. Party shot out. And then roll from there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Moonblast. Effective over there. And then uh, party shot. Let's play. Let's play. That is the play. Actually, can we party shot on T-Tar? I feel like there's like... I feel like there's things that you can't do to a Tyranitar that I don't really know. Like, it, I, I know there's some things that you can't do. Like, I don't think you can T-Wave on them. But let me know in the comment section down below. Like, what can I do against a T-Tar? Because it's always throwing me off. Paramos goes down, which is lovely. But I don't think I can T-Wave, and I really don't want to waste a turn doing that. And now it comes thinking, I don't know if I can party shot because it's Dark thing. Oh, no, we can't. We can't. I just get confused with that whole typing. I just gotta, I gotta sit down and read up on it. Just get it done with that. But we're gonna swap out. We are gonna minus this thing's attack pretty greatly. I am gonna go into Terrakion now. I am gonna go into Terrakion. Terrakion, yeah. Start Terrakion out here, and he's just gonna go for an Ice Punch. Ooh, yo, chill on me. Go over on Wednesday. Thank you. Just got Eats. I am going to beat up now. Actually, I can't beat up. Actually, I can beat up, but it's just like, eat. Um, I go for the knuckle. Cause what's called is faster. But what's called is faster, the wind sky. And that might be a uh, a trainer mistake or a team building mistake. But the what's called is faster. Look, 151, yeah. And 174. So, yeah, when you guys are building a wind sky and beat up teams, make sure your wind sky is faster than whoever has justified. So it can go off first. Like, I'll, I'll show you guys right here. I am taunted. I can still go into this. But look, I'll, I'll show you guys right here. Yeah, I think I just flutter by for this turn. No, I'm just rock sliding here. I don't want to practice things weakness policy. That's the thing. I really don't want to practice things weakness policy, so I am just gonna rock ball over onto you and try to finish you off. But ready? This, this, this is gonna. Oh, he's just gonna withdraw. That thing. That's huge. All right, the glacier is gonna come out here. That would have been amazing if I made that. that. But here, here is my thing. This is what I'm showing you guys right now. So watch. I'm gonna my track gun's gonna go first without the attack boost. That's why I needed the wound shot to be faster, so we give him the attack boost first, and then we take the hit. But luckily he did swap, so we should be thriving for this turn. Wound Scott is probably just gonna set up a tailwind, but track guns should still outspeed. Beat up's gonna get all fear, and I should be able to dump on this uh, glacier, no problem. Ooh. Ooh. You crazy man. This is gonna keep charming me. It's just gonna keep charming. But that thing's able to eat a lot because we're in minus two. But beat up's gonna come back out here. Which is huge. He doesn't have a tailwind. But I'm just gonna beat up again next turn. Because if he does uh charm me again, then we go back to even. But I might just max knuckle here and start trying to boost my attack as much as I possibly can. You no. Know? Is he gonna charm me again or is he gonna set up a tailwind? Hmm. So we're gonna be up plus two here. We are light form. That's nice. I feel like, uh, do we take out one sky here or is he gonna swap back? He might swap back. He might swap back. Uh, hmm, what do I roll here? I think it's gonna be annoying. I think I might just a moon blast onto this thing. I beat up again. Good moon blast. I think I am gonna do. Mine should be faster. No, he has charm. I could just knuckle. Which I am gonna do. I'm gonna knuckle over on this slot. But if he does swap out, then I'm dropping a rock. We're still gonna be super effective. And we are gonna get attack boost. Because if he charms, we go back down to even. It's fine. I don't see him actually he could Dynamax it right there. But I think he's saving at the Dynamax for Tito. That's why he swapped this thing. He wanted his stats back to normal. What are you gonna do, kind sir? What the are you going to do? I still have Soul Valley and Swapper in the back. Yo, this is a good third battle. This is a good third battle, man. This is a good one. Hopefully, we come out with a win. Make it a nice place. He does have Charm, but Charm rocks out here. He isn't going to Dynamax. He's going to Tailwind instead. 
I like that turn. That's that's actually huge for me. I like this turn a lot. This Moonblast should be able to. We, sh we should be thriving here. This should KO you, right? Yeah. All right. Glacier gone. We are boosted again. Um, Wormscott's gonna survive here, and he should be able to take out uh his own Wormscott with a Moonblast and the Sandstorm damage. I like this one. And I think Tailwind might end. But if Tailwind does end, we are plus three. We are plus three. If Tailwind does end, we can just set up another one. I actually kind of wanted to end, so we can actually uh, keep pace here. Yeah, Moonblast does take it out. Beautiful, baby. The Glacier gone. Wimscott gone. And he saw his T-Tar, and we're thriving. We're thriving. Wimscott shakes off Taunt, and Tailwind peters out at the same time. That's beautiful for us. We're going to be able to set up another Tailwind. So when their Tailwind ends, we have one more turn left. He's going to get out T-Tar with plus three on attack board for my Terrakion and Life Orb. Oh, that's his final mine. That's GG. That's GG. That's GG. This is going to be able to take out. This Max Knuckle stab is going to be able to take out. That's GG, baby. Woo! Let's get it, baby. Been playing so, so good on the rank ladder. The last four videos, 3-0. 2-0, 3-0, 2-1, 3-0, and now 2-1 again. Let's get it. Let's go. That's huge. We've been absolutely buzzing on the rank double ladder. My boy Trenton, thank you so much for dropping this team. It absolutely rocked out. One thing, like I said in the third and final battle that you should change about this, is just make that Wimscott faster. It'll make this team 10 times better with that Just Support Terrakion. It'll be able to roll out, possibly pick up a free KO on turn one if you beat it up, and just you can just dump on Pokemon like that. But everything else rocks out on this team. You got the Glacier and the Dust Cops combo. Everyone knows that's really, really strong. The Swampert with that Assault Vest is a great back-end Pokemon. It works out well. It can eat up shots, and it can deal a lot of damage. And then that Sil Valley, you can either explode with them to do massive damage on both sides, or you can do what I did in the third and final battle, which was paralyze Pokemon, then Party Shot, and just pester around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for everything. You guys rock out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.